Hello again. And now we're going to talk about, as you can see, Indiana, Indiana. Indiana women, by the way, won today. And now they've only still lost one game. They beat Ohio State in Ohio State. They crushed them. Uh, 80, was it, what was it? 80, 80, I think it was 83, 59, something like that. They crushed them. They led at halftime by 25. Uh, in, uh, Indiana's best player, inside player. <laughs> I'm terrible with names. Anyway, she had 33. Uh, Sc Scalia, Scalia. I can't. I can't say that. Uh, she had. She came off the bench and hit went six for eight from three point land. Uh, so I mean, it was awesome. I mean, I, I think maybe that's the best game anybody's had for Indiana from the three point line. I mean, there's been a couple, I think, go four for four, but she went six for eight. Uh, two players, one had 33, one had 26, I think, 24, 24. And one player had 16. Berger had 16. Awesome. And pretty much the Ohio State team, they just used the same five, starting five the whole game to the very end. And she put in, I think, three three players to come in. I, I I had to watch it uh, via uh, online. I didn't really get to see the game live. I mean, I knew what was happening, but I didn't get to – it was like a line score thing, and so I don't know if they got in foul trouble or what, and they, she had to bring people in. I don't know. Um, maybe she was mad at the bench. She don't think they're producing. I don't know. But Ohio State's in free fall. Uh, I think it's – I think they'll be lucky if they're still probably in maybe 25th by the time the tournament starts. They're free falling. Uh, Indiana hanging right in there. Uh, the only team that looks like they got to really worry about is Iowa. Perhaps Maryland. Maryland's playing pretty good right now. But Iowa is the team probably that you got to watch the most because they have that Caitlin Clark, and she's the best player in the country. So uh, Big Ten basketball for women is better than the Big Ten league for men. It, it just is. Uh, I think Indiana could probably win the national championship if it wasn't for our subject of today – for this video, which is South Carolina. And as I said, is South Carolina really good? They are unbelievable. Uh, they're one and two almost at every stat that you can think of. Uh, LSU is usually two or three, and they just completely destroyed them. So what's their strengths? The two greatest strengths – the greatest overall strength is defense. In other words, you could have a great offense come in and play South Carolina, and they'll make you look stupid and uh, amateur, uh, high school. And their defense is so good. The best ever. Mark it down. The best ever for a women's basketball team. Uh, offense is not the best ever for a, a basketball team, but when you combine them together, they've improved on their offense so well. I mean, they were like – when you look up the top 50 teams last year, they were way down there. I mean, they were like probably 50th in some categories. They were maybe 25, 25 to 50 on most categories. They're now top 10 in a lot of the categories. Like they've really improved their offense. Um, and when you do that, when you win the national championship and go undefeated, well, they didn't go undefeated last year, did they? They lost one game, I think, to Kentucky. I think it was Kentucky beat them in the – uh, SEC tournament game, final game. If you take that off the board, this team for two year period is like the like the seventy five seventy six Hoosiers. I mean, they're just unbelievable. They're so good, so deep. Their bench is so deep. There's no doubt in my mind they're going to win. They're going to win the national title again and back go back to back because I don't see anybody with enough defense, even if they have a great offense that they're going to be able – their defense is going to stop them enough. And then they're – I mean, I have a strategy here how I think I would do it if I was a coach, how I would try to beat them. That's the only chance I think you have. And it's it's boring ball, but it's it's about the only way I think you can beat them. And they're just – they're so good. They are – and by the way, defense-wise, let's start with defense because that's what they're the best at. I mean, the best ever. I, like I said, I think they could be five – um, NWBA women's teams. I think they could do. The five worst teams they could beat. Uh, here it is. The record for shot block, block shots in a single season 
was back like in 1985, 84-85. Was it 85, 86? It was 84, 85, I think. And that was Robinson with Navy. And you know, he was 7-1. He was swatting everything that year. 207 was the NCAA record. It stood this long until this year when South Carolina women had blocked 238 shots already. And they still got, what, four, I think four or five games left in the season. They're going to have three games in the SEC tournament, and they're going to have six games in, in the NCAA tournament. Unbelievable. They're going to block over 300 shots at, the, at this pace. There's no doubt. They average 9.5 a game. It's, it's, it's crazy to do that. There's no men team I could ever think of that could have that kind of, those kind of athletes that could block 9.5 shots a game. It's unbelievable. And that, that's a big part of why they – they block, they don't foul. And that's that's a huge reason why they're winning. Other defense, they're number one and fewest points scored by an opponent. They get they keep you under 50 at 49. Fabulous. Uh they're number one in keeping the opposition field goal at 30.4%. Unbelievable. And you know, actually, for most of the season, they actually were 29% or better. Now it's up to 30.4%. That's 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 unbelievable. I mean, you got Houston and Houston and the uh, men's, and they're keeping them around. Ah, uh, what is it up to now? It's probably up to about 35, 30, 33, 35 percent. They're outstanding. They're they are thirty point four percent. And I think that's going to go down because I think they're going to you know they're going to be playing some uh, give me's down the stretch here and. They won't really play a threat, a team that's a threat until they play uh, LSU again in the in the finals of the SEC tournament. They have uh, rebounds defensively, keeping the other team off the boards. They only give uh, that the opposition average twenty eight point seven rebounds. That's fabulous. It's under thirty. It's just it's just unbelievable. And then when we look at their offense, the improvements they made, it's great. Rebounds they average fifty point one a game. There's only like two teams that are averaging 50 or more rebounds a game, and the other team is in like a loser league. And I mean, of course they're going to. It's like it's like playing high school teams <clears throat> with their bigger players. But they keep it. Uh, offensive rebounds of those 50 rebounds, their offensive rebounds is 18.4. It's outstanding because. You get that at offensive rebound, you're right at the basket, and you're going to put it back up. And with their size, they're able to get a lot of easy points that way. Uh, and again, blocks nine point. They're number one at nine point five a game. So, and then you say, well, how about steals? How about um, how about that? How about steals? Well, they're not like in the top. I think top twenty five in steals, but I mean. I mean, you know, they block, look at the shots they block. I mean, I don't think that's that important. And besides that, they don't get in foul trouble. And if they got in foul trouble, they'd be okay because they can bring a player to replace the player on the floor. You know, their reserves could beat most teams, uh, most of the of the top teams this year. Uh, they're unbelievable. I mean, deep bench, unbelievable. This coach they have, I forget her name, never can think of it. She's got to be – she better enjoy this because there won't be probably another – back-to-back -back years with a team she'll ever have. She'll never have another team like this. It, it just won't happen. Uh, but my strategies, and yes, I'm going to have them winning the national title. I mean, there's no doubt about it. The question is who they're going to play. That's what the other teams, you got your LSU, Indiana, Iowa, uh, Stanford, Connecticut, uh, Duke. Duke is coming on. They're looking tough, man. Duke, Duke could get to the finals. They're, they're, their defense is second only. Might now, uh, whether playing now to South Carolina, and they're going to be up there before that. Before they they meet in a tournament, they're they're all their defensive numbers. Are, they're going to be right up there. They're going to probably be one, two, or three in all the defensive categories. So they're playing really well. Um. So my strategy, if I was the IU coach and I had to play them in the say if the finals and whenever I had to play them, and especially for LSU. If LSU plays them again, and I believe that's going to happen, you got to slow that tempo down. That game, you got to control that ball. Uh, 
LSU or whoever it is plays them, you gotta you gotta have that ball more than South Carolina does. You just gotta control the tempo of the game. Because you let them run and gun, you can't get back and set your defense up. If they miss, they got the hike and the and the and the players to get down the floor, they're gonna put it right back in. Um you need to take your shot, wait the five seconds left on the shot clock to take your shot every time. It takes discipline. It's hard to do. It may at first don't seem like it's going to work. It takes a while. You can't go by the first 10 possessions. But if they do that, and if they can hit enough of their outside shots, I can tell you this, they won't get blown out. And I, I'm sure South Carolina would get frustrated. So that would be my other goal. And when you do take a shot, you're going to have to shoot farther out. It's going to have to be a three. And you're going to have to shoot farther out. And you're going to have to have someone that can somewhat hit them. And maybe you may only have one player that can hit a, a long-range three. So you're going to have to let them take the majority of the shots. And you're going to have to stick them in. Because I don't think South Carolina is going to come that far out. you got to shoot it enough back where they're not going to bring their defense, spread it out that far. And until you start nailing a few of them, they're not going to come out there on you. So you're going to get a decent look at it. It's a matter of how, who can shoot the farther shot. A lot of women can't shoot much beyond the three-point uh, arc. Arc. So, you know, if you got somebody just crazy wild and in practice, they take half-court shots and hit them. You need to get that person that ball. I don't know if there's any teams that can do this. That's 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 the you got to have the personnel. But that's what you got to do. And you and you know, it, again, if you can get them out, maybe you change your strategy a little bit. And you want to take the give me's when you got them. If you have somebody up court and you can get the ball to them and it's, you know, easy two points before they can get back there, you take those opportunities. But your main goal is to slow the game down and take threes and hope you can bury them. Uh, you're probably going to need somebody that can hit 50% of the threes. And I'll, I'd have to check the, the stats on that. I'm not for sure. Uh, it looks like to me maybe 45% is the highest in the country. Uh, for a player on their three. So I, I don't know. I'm just saying you're going to be taking a lot of them. And remember, you know, if you take 50 threes in a game, if you hit 30%, that's five, what, 15? That's 15 threes. That's 45 points. Uh, you know, it's it, it's a gamble. It's hard. You're, you're going against, first of all, you're going up, you know, your you're, odds are against you to start the game. I mean, you have to do something different, something they haven't seen, something that they might not be able to react to. You have no chance playing them straight up basketball. You're not going to win. I, I go for Indiana. I mean, Indiana's got some great players. I mean, they execute very well, uh, but they don't rebound well. You know, Indiana's weakness is rebounding, and that's one. That's South Carolina's strength. And I think they would. De I think they'd decimate Indiana if Indiana got to the finals and played them. They're going to get blown out unless they play differently. And I just you know you've been playing that way all year. You don't want to change. You don't have much time. They got to do it. You got to do it. You're going to have to play different than you did because you're going to have, you're going to, have to catch them off guard because they're going to they're going to plan on you playing like your, your normal game. They're not going to plan on you doing something, throwing a wrench in the uh, fire or whatever, whatever the saying is, a wrench in the works. They're not going to expect that. And you got to catch them off guard. You you, you got to do it. And I, my defense I would use against them if I was coach with a, a, a box and one where you basically are ma mainly zone and you put a guy on, you put one of your quickest guards on the ball. You know, her goal is to slow that ball down, interfere with passing, try to steal the ball. Uh, but you got them boxed in with this, a box. It'll be harder for them to score, punch it inside and score. Because if it gets inside within two or three, three feet of the basket, they're going to score. They got too much size in there. So I would, I would try to cut down their entries inside and make them shoot from the outside. And you hope they have a terrible day from outside. And they may start off, you know, they could miss 10 shots, but they're, they could also start nailing them. So, again, they don't have many weaknesses. Their shooting is, what was their shooting? I think I looked that up. I think they're in the top 10 in, or top 15 in shooting. Uh, 46, 47%. That's not bad. So, you know, you got to assume they're going to hit, I said, it's say 45%. Well, you know, uh, they're going to be probably three pointers. So again, you don't want them making more threes than you with, with the way you're, how you're going to attack them in your offense. But I think that's the only chance you got against them. That's my personal opinion. And this could be, they're definitely the greatest defensive team. And I'm going to vote 
this year's team because they improved so much on their offense. I think it's probably the greatest team ever. It probably is. I mean, I'm, there's been some great UConn teams. There's been some great Tennessee teams. There's been some great LSU teams. But I, I got to think this team is probably the best ever. And one reason, too, you get the extra year with the COVID and all that, and they got experience and, you know, but all these other teams do, too. I mean, it, it, it if you take South Carolina out, it could be – anybody could probably win the national title. I mean, you, you just can't get over that that hump. I mean, they're they're there. They're a, they're a barrier, and I don't see anybody overcoming it. I mean, it, it just I just don't. I, I like like I said, I like Duke's defense right now. I really do. I think they're just. I mean, they they held a team the other day to twenty seven points for the game. I mean, that they, they're coming on defensively. Uh, do they have the offense? Do you have the offense to get over the hump? And that's the problem. The teams that are probably really good defensively and may give them. Uh, South Carolina on their offense some problems. They don't have the offense. They can't outscore them uh, in the long haul. So that's the problem I see with them. But it's going to be great. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be who can anybody beat them. That's, that's what it comes down to. You know, they're already in the winner's circle. It's going to be who can who can get them out of the circle and who can, who can come up with a plan that you're able in the end to win by one, one point. And I just don't know. I just don't see it. I don't see it. I think if you try the strategy, you got a better chance, but it's just a chance. I mean, I still don't know if that would win. Even if it went to plan and, you, you know, everything's working pretty well for you, I don't know if you could beat them. Uh, the, 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 the blocks, I mean, it's just, I mean, I, I don't know how you get over that. I mean, they just block everything that comes in there. And, you know, unless you have a seven-foot-one woman – uh, and even then, most of the time they can't jump. I mean, usually they're really tall, but they they're tall and slim, and they so they can't really force their way in. They 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 have they do have the height, but they can't jump. You know, their vertical's two inches, and I mean, you're gonna get they're gonna get the shot blocked too. So there it is, you know, and that, that's how I see it. And I guarantee you, when I fill out my brackets and I enter these online contests, I'm probably gonna have South Carolina to win on all of them. Uh, the, the the secret is to get the, the the final game right and the final four right, and that could be questionable because, like I said, there's a lot of teams. There's a lot of other three other teams getting in the final four could be very many situations. So uh, Connecticut shoots the ball the best; they're the highest uh, field goal percentage. Indiana's like third, but they're like right on their tail. I mean, they're basically shooting fifty one percent. I think. Uh, uh, Connecticut shooting 52, 51.5, 52, I think 52%. So, I mean, it's not a huge difference there. And uh, what, what I'm concerned about Connecticut, I don't think they have the defense. You know, they, 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 uh, they've got the shooting and kind of the offense. I don't think they have the defense. And I think that's where they're going to run into trouble. Stanford has the defense. They're pretty, really good defensively, but I don't think they have the offense. And same way with Duke. I know Duke is really good defensively. I don't know if they if they've got the offense. Uh, Indiana is pretty. You got to say they're pretty good defensively. They've been cut, keeping teams, uh, handling teams pretty well with their defense. I don't think they have the offense. And even though they got one of the best best offensive players in the country in their front line, it's only one player, <laughs> and I mean. They're, the South Carolina can throw two at you, and they got some on the bench. I mean, so I, I just don't see how they do it. And it's a shame because Indiana might win the championship if if South Carolina wasn't in there, and because this is definitely their best team ever. And no matter what, you know, if Indiana can get if Indiana can get to the finals, it's a win because I mean, they've never done that before, and I mean, they may never do it again. And it would be just awesome to even see them get to the finals, and and you know. Uh, lose in the finals, but it would be awesome to get them there because, and I think I was probably saying the same thing. Of course, I was been to the final four before, but um, I don't know. I, I've also thought, I said, what if you took uh, Caitlin from the Iowa and a couple of the Indiana players and a couple of the L LSU players and, you know, LSU, this is the best team they've had probably since they went to the final four years ago because they used to go about every other year or quite often to the Final Four. I used to have some really good teams. And this team, might, it's right up there with them. I'm not for sure this team couldn't beat those teams. 
So it's really a shame to have such good teams. You know, you're like some of these some of these universities, like Indiana, the best team they ever had. There's some other ones, the best team they ever had, and it's not going to do them any good because you got South Carolina. So I'm going to end it here, and uh, you can comment, subscribe, all the all the good stuff there, and you can say, "Hey, no, you know, I think so and so is going to beat them." They're you know, South Carolina's weak. They're, they're, they got weaknesses. They can beat. They can be exploited and be beat. But you come up with it. I, I gave you my my plan. You come up with your plan, and you let me know what what you would do, and in, in order you think that you could beat them. But thanks for watching. I'll put my Indiana pride, Indiana basketball, both female and uh, occult men, because Indiana Hoosiers, the men, are up now up to 14th rank, and Indiana women are number two rank. So basically, the best uh, basketball in college basketball right now, women and men combined, is Indiana Hoosiers. So I'll see you later and. Comment. Let me know. Let me know how you beat South Carolina.